Okay, YouTube, here we are. Um, just want to share how fortunate and how lucky I am to get to do this project today. <laughs> um, got a little skylight over my um, shower on my uh, bumper pool, Sun Valley um, travel trailer. You can see here we've got uh, there's the, the roof, TPO roof. Um, here is our skylight with the hole. And here's our new skylight. Unfortunately, this is the third time I've replaced the skylight due to hail. That one right there has been replaced twice. Thank you very much, Texas weather. Um, so, here we go. Okay, so you can see here we've got um, most all of our tools laid out. We'll probably be a few more things that'll come up, but. Uh, of course, skylight, got screwdrivers, a um, little piece of copper to poke hole in the um, lap seal. Got some old, older lap seal. Hope it's still good. We'll use that. Otherwise, we'll use the new stuff that's safe for TPO roofs. Um, it's worked well with the other ones. Of course, a drill for screwdriver purposes. Um, but there's the tools. And then, of course, got ladder as well. So, okay, here we go. We're going to start. Um, by scraping the um, existing lap sealant off of all of the screws so that we can unscrew all those and save them for the new skylight. So that's a little bit of an arduous process, but we'll get that done. And then um, hopefully most of the lap sealant will come off with the skylight, <laughs> maybe. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there so i'll show you after i get all the screws pulled out what's next okay you can see i've got all the screws out now um they come out pretty easy uh, matter of fact i forgot you don't even really have to scrape the um existing lap sealant off you can just if you can find the screw head you can start uh pulling them out that way so not that hard okay the next part is just um starting to peel this thing off you'll see the factory's got a seal they put down before they put lap sealing on it, which is the hardest part to fight through, but just a little pressure and a little time. Take your time on this part. You don't want to break it because then it becomes a real pain. So just go slow and start prying along the edge until you can get enough to lift the whole thing off. Okay, there it is, right off. You can see how much came up. So I'll spend the next part kind of scraping and cleaning this up. Just being careful not to um, cut the TPO roof that's it just pressure and time it'll come up all right you can see now that i've got the previous lap sealant removed it is tedious it just take your time go slow I use a screwdriver in my hands and just kind of peel it up i'm gonna clean it next with um, some rubbing alcohol and a towel um, get it good and clean or it's clean enough if you will um, and then i'll be ready to put the new one down okay so now we're just cleaning the area with some plain old rubbing alcohol and a rag. Um, you can see it's going to be clean enough because again we're going to reseal everything with a whole generous helping of lap sealant so it should be fine. You know the question will be will the holes line up with a new one and that's okay because you can just use the holes that are on the skylight and drill new holes or self-tapping screws that are on there so it's no big deal as long as you seal the old holes. That's it. We'll just keep cleaning and then we'll be ready for the new skylight momentarily. Test fit. You can see that the holes don't line up exactly, but that's okay. Because again, we're going to redrill new holes with the self tapping screws that were holding the other one down. Looks like there's maybe even fewer holes. That's okay. One thing I learned with that one and why it got replaced twice is you don't want to tighten the screws too tightly. Tighten them just enough to pull it snug, but you don't want to flex the skylight because if you do, it will crack. That's what happened, like I said, on that other one and why I got the pleasure of doing it two times. So again, come back with the self-tapping screws, but you want to not tighten them too tight. So use the drill to start them and then just hand tighten. I'll show that too but um, the other thing is you want to put down a layer of lap sealant under the skylight to replicate the factory seal that was on there to start so 
next step lap ceiling. Okay, you can see where I put my bead down and then put the skylight over it. I squished it down nicely. I don't have a very steady hand, so I don't have a real pretty bead, but that's okay. Looks like we have no areas where it's not sealing. You can see how it does push up a little bit though, right there and here. And again, that's what I'm talking about, not tightening it too tight because you don't want to break it or put torque on the skylights because it will, like, you, like I said, it will crack on you. So next step is the screws. Here we go. Okay, you can take all the screws down. Let the sealant spread out nicely. I'm gonna go back and hand tighten some of these. I don't wanna, again, make them too tight. Uh, the biggest thing is making sure that that lap sealant bead that you put down gets squished out a little bit. And then you can see like I kind of predicted there's uh, screws left from the previous skylight, which is fine. There's plenty of screws in this to hold it down. We'll uh, start our lap sealant over the top of this here in just a moment. So I've got all the screw heads sealed. Now I'm going to come back and run a bead along the edge and lap it up over the, no pun intended, edge of the skylight onto the roof. But you can see all the screw heads are lap sealants doing its thing and lapping out there. Okay, there it is. Lap sealant down. Again, my not so steady hand, but gets the job done and it'll settle a little bit more and get a little smoother and look a little nicer, but that's it. It's done. Just take it a little time. Be patient. Don't get in a rush. And uh, you can do it too. Nothing to it. That's it. So here's me signing off and hope we don't get any more hailstorms and have to replace it again.